Gas water heaters using a hot surface igniter will utilize a pressure switch as part of the system to ignite the gas burner. Similar to how a furnace operates, when the temperature of the water in the tank decreases, a control board will send voltage to a draft inducer fan motor. The fan draws air into the burner, which is necessary for the ignition process to continue. Once the draft inducer motor reaches its maximum speed and there is sufficient airflow, the pressure switch closes, allowing the control board to send voltage to the hot surface igniter. The control board then energizes a solenoid on the gas valve, which allows gas to flow into the burner. The igniter ignites the gas and the flame heats the water. A malfunctioning pressure switch may fail to close even with adequate airflow, stalling the ignition process. You can determine if the pressure switch is malfunctioning by using a multimeter to test the installed component for electrical continuity while the draft inducer fan motor is running. Before you attempt to access the switch, unplug the water heater's power cord. Pressure switches are normally located in the blower assembly control housing, close to the draft inducer fan motor. To reach it, you will need to detach the control housing cover and move it out of the way. Disconnect the pressure switch's wires. Then plug the water heater power cord back in and avoid touching any electrical components with your hands. Set the multimeter's range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. With the draft inducer fan motor running, contact the meter leads to the pressure switch's terminals. The meter display should indicate close to zero ohms of resistance if the switch has electrical continuity and is functional. However, if the meter display doesn't change, you'll know the pressure switch has no electrical continuity and the component will need to be replaced. 